2011 Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show. We're talking with Steve Broyles of Stevenson Cycles. Steve, take a minute and give us your background, please. Well, I started in the motorcycle business in 1969. I had about 40 years of doing this. My son came, was born in 1969. Uh, he's now working with me. He came on board when he was 17 years old. Stephen, we call him Stephen Gerard Broyles II. That's his real name, but I call him Deuce. Uh, this bike right here is named Deuce is Wild. It was part of what we built together, my son and I. It has a reverse flowed shovel head engine in it, 93 cubic inches, handcrafted oil tank with glass sides. It has uh, a six speed transmission in it and a five speed case with a four speed kicker cover on it. If you look at it, the exhaust is coming out where the intake should be. The intake is going in where the exhaust is. There's a carburetor off of a 1952 Dodge truck that we decided to modify and stick on it. It's a Holley carburetor. Really looks nice. Operational. Works great. It has handcrafted controls, foot controls on it, handlebars. It's on a Paco frame. Modified. This is a Paco front end. We use a lot of Paco stuff. We really like it. It's a great manufacturer made right here in the USA. It's real good for us. Part of what we do is split rocker boxes on this. Part of our uh, one of our kits that we, we actually have uh, available. We also have the oil tank available and the foot controls. It's part of a product line that we've now developed. This goes all the way back to a handcrafted and handmade rear fender support. Has no front brake because why would you need one? And it has a Sproder rotor on the other side. This bike's a beautiful uh, operational bike, runs great. People look at it and they go, wow, how does it do that? So what we did, we named this bike Deuces Wild. This also has an evil engineering belt drive on this side, which is a helical design, two inch belt drive. It's kickstart only, so you gotta have a lot of oomph to get her to roll over. Let's talk about paint. What was your inspiration on paint on Deuces Wild? This paint is done by Darrell Williams of Liquid Illusion Art out of St. Louis. Uh, when you're looking at this bike right now on your video, I'm pretty sure it shows it's blue. If you're in seeing it live, it looks green. So it definitely has some contrast to it. It's actually a, a bike. We've had people come into the shop before and go, they're here to see the blue bike. I go, it's right there. They go, no, we want to see the blue one. I go, it's right there. It's kind of a funny situation. Darren, we let Darren loose with this paint and we said, do what you feel like you'd like to do. So we got plaid. I think this is probably one of the only plaid bikes that I've ever seen painted. And it's a beautiful job. And uh, I'd like to thank him a lot for that. Some of the people that were inspirational in building this bike were uh, Evil Engineering, Belt Drive Systems, uh, of course S&S supplying us with motor parts, blocks, shovel heads, cylinders, so on and so forth. Uh, that was great. My son, I'd like to thank him because he's, his heart and soul is into this motorcycle just as well as mine. Steve, if somebody would like to get a hold of you, how would they do that? They can reach us uh, at stevensoncycle.com. They can look us up on the web there. They can uh, find us in the Horseback Street Choppers magazine. Our ad runs there every month. Or they can call us at 734-641-2200. Steve, thank you. Thank you so much.